and we are back all right we are going for the classic map today progressive world domination with blizzards looks like we got five people and one expert ai there are the settings this is also a balanced blitz no fog no alliances and look at this green middle start we are the white player and we are going last blizzards are right here a huge blizzard here as it blocks asia's and north america's connection inconsequential blizzard here and then pretty decent europe blizzard here making europe a three hold instead of a four blue making their intentions very known trying to go to australia i am already 11 troops deep into africa there is one, two threes we got to go through, but we do get six troops starting. I could essentially go seven, boop, seven, boop, fortify. I may be able to hold this, and then we have seven extra troops over here, depending on what everyone else does. Black is the bot. Seven troops of the bot in Australia. Purple potentially going for Europe. Um, could do a little buddy system there. He's got to go through quite a bit more troops. The bot seems like it's going to end up being more over here unless it gets a little bit crazy right there. So blue heading into Australia, although that is not very attainable with red. Red might actually try to set in there as well. Let's see, green going here, probably. Okay, so green's definitely going to want Europe because they already have so many troops. So that's going to be interesting to see how purple navigates this. I don't think purple's in a great spot because now they're completely trapped in there kind of here yeah i don't really envy purple right now they might go for a multi-positional i could also take this and give both purple and red a chance to leave although green's blocking with two two three so green goes after purple so purple won't get a chance and red also goes after green so neither of them will get a chance to move he'll have those threes blocking the whole time red goes ham for australia and loses none on a four loses only one here loses four on a three and blue says thank you i'll be taking that absolute chaos red wants australia believes in australia <laughs> is australia Okay, so I can pretty much count on Blue to, to annihilate that. He might not. He might not take the roll. Um, but I think I think we go for this. I think we absolutely go for this. Let's see. Actually, this is really good. I go four here. I go seven bang. And then I go boom, boom. I think that's the play. But we already have this. Actually, can't, we can't do that. I can't do seven. I'll have to roll one of them. That isn't 100. I have to roll this three, I think. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to do seven, seven. And if I fail this roll, <laughs> come on. Absolutely. Absolutely. We lose none. We lose none. Perfect dice. Unbelievable start. And now I'm going to let green's going to break me or purple's going to break me. Green is gonna break me or purple's gonna break me. So I actually just stay there. I get deer in the headlights because I didn't know what to do. And I'll just let one of them break me and then we'll take it next turn. But either way, we lose no troops and we are in a phenomenal position. I do wish I fortified that too if I wasn't gonna do anything with that. A little bit unfortunate, but that is okay. Blue goes up and gives up Australia. So Red's insane turn one is able to be rewarded unless the bot sees it fitting in their heart to break. So purple will probably hurt me because I didn't let them move their three. I think purple wanted me, yeah, purple wanted me to let their three out this way. Instead, I hit it and didn't lose anything. So purple will do the honors and break me here, which is no problem. I understand. I don't expect to hold this with this guard. Um, if I do, that's phenomenal. Let's see. So I think purple's trying to get this now. It's not going to look too good. They don't break me, which is interesting. So it's up to green to break me. Will green break me or will green? Yeah, I would assume green goes boop, fortifies in, goes five. That's not 100% roll. Okay, he loses no dice. These dice are very forgiving right now for everyone, me included. 
very much included. Purple is begging for people to let him out. It's just unfortunate that he got sandwiched. Green, already playing good neighbor before he even gets Europe. Very nice. So I can just continue, I think, to hold this on one position. Hold this on one position, which I really enjoy here. I think this would be the less aggressive position because this is pointing straight into Green's Europe. Um, so I think if I have a big enough stack here, it will deter someone back dooring and then front dooring, if you will. And then I think I just start going into um, Australia potentially, but also North America is a two point guard. So maybe we <laughs> maybe we let purple mine this out for us and then take it for ourselves. That might be the play. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. But let me stack everything here and then I'm going to get these troops down. I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to go boop and fortify this and we're going to try to salvage the troops we have left up there. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're looking really good. We got 30 troops. We have a nice lead right now. Now green's going to get this. Purple six is stuck in there, though. No one's Australia. He does have Australia, which gives two points to return per, per turn. But I'm kind of digging. I typically don't go for Africa. But when the spawn was that good, we've got to really snowball this to win. And we are in the middle of the map, so we can really go left or right with this. If purple does break, I can sling my 12 in there and reroute and we can go for this two point hold on North America, South America. But right now, purple's just got the two position. He does. Yeah, he's trying to tell green, hey, hey, I'm trying to get out of here. But this black, um, this bot right here is really um, not doing him any favors. So maybe if the bot goes boop, purple goes up. But I could also see green just getting impatient and yamming that. So it's very interesting to see. Purple cannot risk losing any more troops. Same with blue or else. Red only has 19 troops, which is really interesting. Um, he has Australia, but he lost so much getting it. It's like, all right. Purple, again, telling green, hey, let me out of here. But green's not going to hit that. They really need the bot to cooperate, and the bot is not. Um, don't. Don't roll a 5v5, sir. Oh, my God. He slow rolls a 5 fails and I, I mean at least he's given him an out <laughs> this is brutal yeah he doesn't want to hit this five this five really just needs to go here but the bot has different plans in my bro green suicides four and then attacks as don't do it green he loses three plus four he loses everything good god that was so painful to watch. Green loses seven all just to let purple seven out of there. That is unfortunate. Very fortunate for me now because green won't be this domineering Europe right above me. He will be, you give him enough turns and he will be, but it's progressive. So he's got to get going on that. He's got to get cooking. With progressive, you want early bonuses. The later the game goes, these bonuses will not hold up against the cards that you get. Once you start getting 15, 20, 25, 30 per set, these bonuses don't mean anything. Except for the fact that, hey guys, I'm right here instead of being multi-positional. So very interesting. Uh, we'll see how this plays out now. Red starting to climb back with that bonus, starting to lose less troops. So you gotta respect that. But we get that nice plus three each turn. Our stack's a little bit locked in there. I think I can continue to take with this and fortify here and just be in a really good spot overall, which is what I'm going to do here. I think I'll turn this into a 10, 11, just have a nice outpost so no one really wants to hurt me. I do lose a troop there, unfortunate, but no problem. We're just going to stack here, get a nice big first stack, and then we'll have a nice little outpost just to take extra cards if we need to. Sometimes I lose this stack, which just really makes me sad because they're like, hey, if we get rid of this, you're forced to hit with these. So sometimes I do just like to have one stack. But the benefit of this is if they completely trash me here, they have to kill this as well to get my cards. So just make it a little bit harder for your opponents. Blue is really struggling right now. 16 troops. Black is starting to very much be killable. He's got a three hiding there. So we got red here. Red's nice and scattered out. Green is all up in here. 
black right here, me, I'm right here, and then purple has a really nice one, two, three combination. Completely leaves, completely leaves. That means green's gonna have Europe next turn. Green will have Europe and the sets are absolutely nothing. So no one's really in jeopardy of dying unless you're like black and have just no troops left to your name. Very interesting. Green is gonna start building back much like red but at a much quicker pace because Europe is worth five. And because green didn't break me, I'm inclined to let green have that as well. Um, I just really don't, if I break the bonus, the every all the targets are on my back. I'm like, okay, he's the breaker, let's take him. And I just don't like doing that. But the flip side is they get all of these points now what's gonna happen if green doesn't do now what, what's gonna happen is black's gonna break he doesn't realize that's a bot and the bot is a breaker is a heartbreaker does the bot break does the yes the bot does so purple absolutely outclasses green in this moment completely leaves saves their troops goes through all that trouble to save their troops if, just for the bot to hit green and now there's no retribution because it's a bot you're like oh bot has bad blood against green no he's just programmed that way which is just really funny but i also have to watch out for that since i'm not guarding these if the bot slips down here you could easily break me so I might just put a couple here and there to deter the bot. Now, once the bot goes, I think we can go back to just being trying to play good neighbor with everybody. Let's see, black, or yeah, yeah, the bot is right here. Okay. Let's see. All right. We got six troops. I think we put everything. I think I'm going to make this a five. I'll move that. Get a nice 20, a little side block. And let's see, I'm just gonna hit there. Me and blue are chilling. And then I'll fortify that. So I have a nice five blocking just in case the bot gets a little bit frisky. I think I'm okay with that. I'm leaving purple completely, but purple really isn't a threat right now. They have a five, a five and a seven. If this was here, I'd be in a really good position, but purple could also see it coming and they might suicide with. I'm not sure, actually that might be the play, is to move that 20. <laughs> There's no way purple sees that as like, is okay with it. Um, but purple is starting to be very killable, very killable and they know this. They absolutely know this, especially if my 20 is here, I could also potentially go through green. Mm. Once these cars start getting worth something, purple and blue really need to get some, some troops. I don't know how, they're not gonna be able to get any bonuses, so I think that just means blue is not long for the world because blue is literally just do, 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 do. Now this does not connect actually. So blue isn't as easy to kill as I've been saying, because you're thinking you can go like this and connect normally, but this blizzard's completely blocking that. So actually blue's in a better position. Now that means blue is here and here. If blue gets cleared out here, he is in trouble. He's absolutely in trouble, vice versa for purple. They really need to be able to keep both of these stacks alive all right green's gonna get europe green's gonna get europe same thing with red red wants to make sure he keeps some troops over here and a lot of it is i'm just i almost have double the troops of a lot of these guys so now black <laughs> if black ever gets bopped here he's in trouble gets the set does he go here he goes here Okay, and he goes here. So the bot is actually doing a good job of staying alive. Does the bot go for this? Does the bot go? Okay, bot goes here. Bot goes here. And the bot goes there. Wow, okay. So bot's doing bot things. So as much as I want to move this here, purple, <laughs> purple's kind of blocking me from the bot breaking. And oh man, I could I could just straight kill green. I could just gum, 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 gum. I could straight kill green and I might do it. I might just kill green. I feel really bad. Um, but the sets are huge. That will set me. Well, they're not huge, but they're bigger than the four and six. They're going to start being huge. But then I would get Europe. All I have to do is roll through two sevens. Um, and that will give me five cards. I will double set. Um, which is immaculate. I'll set first here. And then I'll set again. I think I do it. Um, I think I do it because no one else. Well, then purple will set. Um, 
I, I really I really want to do it. Let's do it. Let's let's get this game going. Let's get this game going. Let's do it right. Okay. I'm gonna go bop, 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 and goodbye green. It's been fun. It's been real. Okay, we set again. And let's see. Let's do the horses instead since we have troops on these. Get Northern Europe is huge. I can block here. Um, I block purple. That way purple has to go. Oh, red is blocked. Oh my God, red is blocked, which is immaculate. I think, actually, I think it's better just to have a stack all in one spot. Um, yeah. Or we leave that and then make a second stack. Okay, let's do the European turtle. Let's do that. Bring this in. And if any, so I'm letting them. If, if black breaks me, it unlocks my 17. But I'm in a position where I can just get more kills. Let's not get too crazy with blocking these bonuses. And let's just leave these open. If someone breaks, if they don't break, I get five and this stays locked. That's fine. I'll still have this and a set. But if they do break, it unlocks my 17 <laughs> and the wrath. So, uh-oh. So blue cleans me out here. Okay, blue feeds purple. And he hurts me, though. Very interesting. He feeds himself to red? If red wasn't stuck here, red could really be popping off right now. Very interesting. So, per okay. So I think what he blue was doing here was he's like, I'm going to get rid of you so you can't kill black. Yes, that's what it looks like. And then purple is stuck with the black here. So purple's extension to kill black is completely gone now. Although black only has two cards. So I'm not 100% sure what blue was doing. He loses six killing my eight. He loses only three killing the purple six, which is nice. Um, but blue is very killable now as well. Um, but harder. Because, but again, if black just breaks me, blue basically dies. I just go dink and doom <laughs> i go boom boom what does purple do here oh and if purple feeds blue basically does that make if you hit this it makes my job even easier i just do, 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 do. okay a little bit harder a little bit harder to do but i could essentially still kill blue um if black can break this if black doesn't i do i get double bonus they'd rather have me have two bonuses than unlock my 17 which is insane Maybe red, maybe red breaks me. I think red at the very least should go right here. I think, but if they don't break any bonuses, I go boom. I kill, I can't kill blue, right? I would have to, yeah, they need to break me. Red needs to open me. He's not going to, okay, they're doing a good job of leaving my 17 stack. I really thought someone, at least the bot was going to. Super interesting. What are my options here? Don't leave your stack locked. Okay, red's really bad. Red is really bad. We can definitely keep them for last. I can kill black, but I won't set. I can kill black, but I won't set. That's right, I have a set. I've been thinking about this without the set. I kill blue. I kill blue. That also won't set me, but I can kill blue and black, I believe. I can kill blue and black. Um, so I just need enough. Give me 18... 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26 or so. Can that get the job done? And then will I have enough? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to say 26 and believe in the heart of the cards. Everything else goes here. Let's do it. Good dice. Good dice. Okay. That's good. We need, uh, I don't know if the good dice. I didn't need to hit that purple four. I did not need to hit that purple four. But we're good. We need to keep going. We're running out of time. Running out of time. Oh my god. The time ran out. The time ran out. And purple gets it. Oh my god. I swear I had that in the timer. I think purple wins now. Purple hits this. Breaks everything. I do have five cards. Oh my god, the biggest flop in history. I had the perfect amount of troops too. The four hits this, and now purple just reigns supreme. Oh man, that is so unfortunate. Can we come back from this? Can we come back from this is the question. He breaks everything. If he breaks Europe, I get my 17 unlocked. Can he kill me? 
can he kill me? Can he feed me to red? I cannot believe I didn't have enough time. He, okay, here we go, here we go. The timer's ticking down. What do you do with this? He's going really slow. He goes 13 here. Is he gonna try to kill red? Is he just gonna, what's he doing? Okay, he's just taking territory, he's taking territory. Oh man, my heart, oh my God, he's going for red. He's going for red, he's going for the three cards, he's gonna run out of time. He's gonna pull what I just did. He's gonna fail, he's gonna fail. Oh purple, oh purple, do you get the 2v1? Oh my God. He doesn't get the 2v1 and he still failed. So I fail by one troop. He fails by four. He feeds me red and I get the win. Oh my God. You, ha I just, I am not the fastest taker. I can take decently fast, but I cannot fly across the, bo the board. I don't have like the mouse key button set where you just press down and it flies for you. I... I'm continually trying to move faster. I also needed to make up my mind just a tad bit faster as well. Um, purple is asking for second place. And I think I give it, I think that is fine. I think that is fine, sir. I think you've earned it. I think you've done enough. And I think it is okay for you to get that. So we go, we go here, we go four, five, six. We'll do seven for good measure, just in case we lose multiples on those we'll get into position here i'll get into position he's talking all i shouldn't have given it to him he's a he's an emoter it's fine it is fine he said oops bro i got you i got you it was a good match it was a very good match and we've got this game just no misclicking just use the big stack take care of business Hit him with the good game. Well played. Insanely close. I opened the door for him to win. Um, I think I think he thought Red had a, a trade. He did not. So I think it was better for him to maybe just completely decimate all of my territory. And Red's proven to probably be a beginner. Absolutely. So Red was basically a beginner. Wasn't going to win that. And Purple got a little bit zesty. He didn't have the troops for it. So we had two beginners, a mas another master, including myself, and a beginner with the expert AI. An absolute GG. Well played. We get the classic win. As always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you on the flip. Peace.